Hi everyone and thanks for joining our session today. The aim of this session is to explore and learn more about Aon's Catastrophe Modelling Graduate Programme. My name is Frankie and I'm part of the Early Careers team here at Aon and I'm delighted to be joined by two of our graduates, Lewis and Harry. So thank you so much for joining, I hope you're well. Yeah, all good, thanks for having us. <laughs> Brilliant. So let's start with the most important question of the day. Harry, what is Catastrophe Modelling? Sure. So catastrophe modelling is essentially simulating the effects of catastrophes on our clients' portfolios, both before and after a catastrophe, uh, to figure out how much insurance they need or how much damage has been done to their portfolio. So you'd be modelling it for man-made or natural catastrophes like Hurricane Ian, earthquakes, or even like, terror-related attacks too. So it's very varied. Brilliant. Thank you for that. And Lewis, can you tell me a bit more about your team and what you do? Yeah, of course. So, well, both Harry and I, um, we both work in um, global re specialty. So, we sort of um, model and cover um, sort of worldwide uh, uh, sort of natural catastrophes and man made catastrophes. Um, so, in the team itself, we're a very social team, um, very focused. Um, and I guess we all have a range of backgrounds. So, Harry studied geography um, and I did mechanical engineering. We've got people who studied um, economics. Uh, even the broken side of people who studied English language yeah. is very, very rare, uh, varied. Wow. And what does a typical week look like for you? Um, I guess it's sort of well, very varied, isn't it? It's sort of um, it, you get into the office, it's not the same thing every single day. Um, you know, sort of, I guess, during renewal season, it was a very busy time for us um, where um, well, actually both Harry and I were involved a lot in um, sort of terrorism reports and looking at um, our clients' terror um, exposures. Um, I guess as well as this, um, uh, we, we, we also have uh, some study time, um, which uh, we get allocated a certain amount of hours um, per week, um, usually on a Friday where we um, have the opportunity to study for our uh, CII um, qualification. Brilliant, that's great. And do you get support um, with that uh, study? Yes. Qualification, brilliant. Yes. Yeah, um, so um, it's all part of, it's all, um, integrated into mm -hmm. Aon's um, graduate scheme. Um, uh, so it's all essentially the, the way it works. So I guess Aon uh, fund you the, for the whole convocation itself. Um, there's, it's, it typically takes about two and a half to three years. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's uh, three, three levels where you've got your certification, your diploma and your advanced diploma. Um, and Aon assign you a, an, apprent an apprentice coach, which essentially um, take you through the whole um, journey itself. Um, and offer you advice when you need it and to make sure you're on track, really. Well, that's fantastic. I'm so um, glad that you got that support. Brilliant. And Harry, back to you. What do you enjoy most about your role? I think I really enjoy the exposure to real world issues. So, um, for instance, this year I was working on Hurricane Ian related projects. So, looking at the effect of Hurricane Ian on clients' portfolios in real time. So, even as it was happening, which was really exciting, it makes you feel like your work really matters, which I don't think you get in every other job. Um, it's also a really social working environment. Everyone's keen to help you learn and everyone's really knowledgeable too. I think Aon's such a great firm, it's top class professionals. So you're going to be taught by people who are really the best in the industry. So it's a great place to start your career. You're also working with loads of different perils too. So no one day is the same as we've discussed. We're working on things like terror, hurricanes, earthquakes. So there's a huge variety in what you do. Brilliant, that sounds amazing, but there must be some challenges. What are the challenges that you face so far? Yeah, you take this one. So, yeah, so I guess um, the biggest challenge, uh, challenge is sort of, well, I guess it's problem solving is essentially what, what we do. Um, um, a lot of data cleansing. So if we get, well, often we get time, well, I think you've had, had it and I have, there's been client data that's come in where um, it's essentially not on the right format or things aren't quite making sense. So, You've got to sort of manipulate the data um, and again, like I just said, cleanse it. And then also, I guess another problem or, or sort of um, a way you're going to go overcome this is sort of how you present it as well to the client um, and present it to the brokers um, and make sure that they understand the data. And it's, yeah, I guess we're well represented, really. <laughs> Great. So let's look ahead to the next 12 months. What are you looking forward to most in your role? I think what I'm looking forward to most is that exposure to different parts of the business. That's the best thing about the grad scheme, in my opinion. You get to rotate through different teams. So we get to see what other people do with the data that we create. And it's really those opportunities which you wouldn't get if you weren't on the scheme. 
also meeting clients and encountering different problems and solving them too. And also it's the socializing aspect. I think this grad scheme is brilliant just for the social aspect. There are 140 grads in London this year. So everyone's always keen to do something. You're never, uh, there were nothing to do socially. So yeah, it's really great. Fantastic. So final question from me, what would your advice be to anyone considering applying for the Catastrophe Modeling Graduate Programme? Uh, I guess don't hold back, but also show passion in your application, show an interest in catastrophes, but don't be afraid if you don't have those technical skills already. I didn't really know anything about catastrophe modeling before. In fact, I knew nothing, um, but you learn it sort of as you go. Uh, and as long as you've got that passion to learn, you should be all right. Um, but also reach out to people at the firm already. Everyone's really willing to help us. So I'm sure they'd be willing to help you too. Um, and it's, yeah, it's yeah. Also a few like, yeah, I guess what, one thing I'd add is sort of like, you know, it's sort of, you, you've got to be able to absorb like a sponge, you know, you absorb as much information you can. And I guess that's the only thing that's expected of you, right? You're there, you're willing to learn and you're willing to absorb the information because like Harry said, I, I wasn't aware what, what cat modeling was, of course, come from engineering background, so I wouldn't, wouldn't really know, but of course it's sort of, it's how you apply yourself within the company. And um, I said, like I said before, Aon, they show fantastic sport. Um, throughout your development of your early career. Great advice, thank you. Thank you so much for joining us um, for this session today. And just as a reminder to everyone who's watching um, to please visit our website. So it's the Aon Early Careers website for further details about this programme and all of our other early career opportunities. Thank you so much and hopefully we'll see you soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.